but God is able. Isn't that a gospel song? If not, I'll make one. Um. <laughs> oh, so real quick, uh, the doctor's office must have been like my OBGYN must have been like, oh, they called me back. The, my office manager, or whatever, called me back and was like, oh, I'm sorry, I understand you came down. They got good customer service. I will say that because she apologized for me having to wait so long um, and then she asked me you know what exactly am I interested in as far as switching birth control pills and I said the mini pill um, and so she basically was like I'm sorry she apologized and she said if you want to I will give you a five month sample of this new birth control pill I'm a little like uh, <laughs> I'm used to the mini pill I'm not trying to get pregnant at 37 Lord please no so um although y'all some witch told me she's a psychic but I call him a witch some witch told me I would have two kids I rebuke that <laughs> this camera ain't goes all off um, I need to not do this while driving. That's very dangerous. But this this is a slow bro. What the hell? Oh. The hell. Look how big my hair is. <laughs> God, my hair is big. Oh my God. I didn't know it, it looked. Well, I look at my hair. I look at it like, oh, it's just up. But I didn't realize it was this high. Jamie and I are going to that raggedy ass Chuck E. Cheese on, set on Sunday. And then we're gonna go to the water park, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and that's it. Because at this right now, I have three doctor's appointments next week. Again, all of it's follow up. Um, one of them, not even really, it's just picking up my dentures. Not my dentures, girl. <laughs> picking up my uh, night guard. So, y'all probably can't hear me that well. I'm cooking several things. Um, my lunch, his lunch, or dinner for work, because he, he probably eats around five or six at his job. Um, I'm making him chicken pasta with broccoli and this type of cooked cream pasta. I need to get some water going on for that. And um, I'm going to have a salad that I didn't get a chance to eat yesterday. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm going to make black bean soup for myself later on. I was surprised. My child is a picky eater. He actually ate some in and out fries yesterday. I was so shocked. So my chicken is going. And um I'm going to do, this is probably no corn. That's okay, that's all I need. I'm going to do um, that corn salsa you saw me make when I was in the apartment. Corn salsa, guacamole, um, a spicy bean dip, warm. I want to do a bunch of dips. I don't want to do something that's too heavy. And then we're going to have assorted cheeses and fruit. That is it. I'm trying, I'm going to try to encourage my family that you know you don't have to have a lot of food because uh, they're not the healthiest group of people my mama posts every morning of her having coffee every morning um and then having like a tea cake or something i'm like you can't eat that every day you just can't y'all you can't do that to your heart I ended up that pasta look good so I ended up putting some in the little bowl for me but most of my lunch is going to be this salad this bowl is probably too little but oh well sit hearty salad okay so here is the broccoli pasta it was more than enough for both of us so I fixed me just a little bit and then of course my big salad. I'm gonna save the two of them like I said for later, y'all. So let me go ahead, y'all, and chow down. Yeah, I think Gucci Gucci Man is a clown. Y'all are silly. Some of these kids get on my nerves. They ain't no damn clown. That that teeth is a damn clown. <laughs> y'all, what happened to 
Yeah, it's cheap. Did he get that done in prison? I was like, Gucci man. <laughs> what? How much time I got on this phone? On the camera. I took a nap, y'all. I'm trying to put in because I'm a type of person, if I don't put stuff on my phone to do, then I'm going to forget. Change your plan. See, I, I'm a planner, and that really helps me to not be going as crazy. I like to plan things out a week in advance, have my days planned out. Um, Saturday, I have to drop my car off by the dealership. So I'm going to put that in my phone. This thing up here. My man is working my nerves today. He's like, we can't do everything we have to do tomorrow. I'm like, what? See, this is where the compromise part has to come in. We both have doctor's appointments early in the morning. There is no reason why we can't do one of the two things. Because I'm like, we are two and a half weeks out from the wedding. We need to do something this week because we don't know what's going to happen next week. You know, stuff stuff may come up. I have two follow-ups next week and JB is, is home most of the week. So, I'm like, okay. Okay. Let's at least get the marriage license. So, he didn't say yes or no. I told him they don't close to five. We'll go up to Surprise, which is old man's land. I said, as long as you're back home by one or two, there's no reason why we can't go to surprise. But hey, it will work out because this is what I'm going to do now. Oh, by the way, I'm on the way to Goodwill. Y'all, and I took a, I think I told you, I took a nap. Girl, I woke up like, whoo, girl. Ooh. Girl. Ooh. Y'all, I can't drive with nothing. Ooh. Okay, ooh, I did good. So, um, I'll stop by Joanne's tomorrow at, uh, and then I'll go get my nails done and let Tom and Tina hook it up. Yeah, they were getting on my nerves last time. No time, no see. <laughs> oh my god, Tina said, Long time, no see. You sit here, honey. Long time, no see. Pick a color, sit here. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me, okay, let's go in here. These are all the bases. So, one thing I am going to do for my wedding reception, I keep saying that, for the get-together. I want to have a couple of clear vases and uh, decorate the area with um, baby scrub. So, I may pick up two. I have one at home. I may pick up two random looking vases and use that. Let's go check out their furniture. I don't need no furniture, but let's go check it out. That's a cute crib. Mm. I don't see anything. Oh, you know what? This is interesting. This is I don't know about that. I would definitely buy this though. This only $2.99. It's really cute. How much time I have? Eight minutes each. Y'all can't go with me into the Dollar Tree then. We're gonna talk about this girl's hair too. Got her hair chopped off. Let me find her. Cause I don't know her name. It begins with a J. Some of y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, long, just get to the point, girl. She's gonna, she's gonna do my hair because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not going to. Let me pull up my Instagram. I shared it on my Instagram a couple of days ago. Apparently, she did a collab with uh, an experienced stylist. And why am I belching? I saw another video on YouTube of him curtain someone's hair. Now, I'm not going to reveal his name. You can research it and figure it out. I'm not going to I'm not going to be petty like that. But this is Joelinia, Jewel Joelina. I didn't even know who she is, but apparently she's pretty pretty popular. All right? She has had waist length long hair. And she had a collab with this guy. He was going to cut her hair for her. And um he starts cutting it, and she says in the video, I want it long. 
Okay, so they had a consultation and they spoke about it. And so she says that he's cutting it and that she can feel it. My thing is this. This is my thing, you guys. I think two things happened. Apparently, they say he had a death in the family. He was a little frazzled. Because the guy can actually cut hair. I saw another video where he cut another woman's hair. And he, he can cut hair. They say he was a little bit bothered. Well, if you that damn bothered, don't get in my hair. Because... I don't think people really grasp that those of us who are really into healthy hair, not even just about that, you have a channel about hair and you're growing your hair, you're talking about you're not going to cut it, your hair is your brand. I, I was going back and forth with one of my friends because I, I was like, why is everyone cutting their freaking hair? I did not realize that, what is her name, that Alicia James cut her hair. I did not realize that Terry and Guy could not do she's another story but she went she got dreads and a well-known conference counseled her as a bookie because they were looking for the curly big classic tearing guy hair um which i think that's that's a little wrong for them to have done that you guys my batteries are going real low i think that's a little petty that that's wrong on their end to do that but they were looking for a certain look and she cut her hair let me get to the point I'm pretty sure my subscribers will stay by me if I cut my hair, but I get a lot of gigs, not even gigs, but people want me to do reviews for them. Um, companies contacting me because the length and quality and health of my hair affect, but it's going to affect my brand. Same thing with this girl. He cut her hair by nine inches. Lord, nine inches, y'all. I was just like... He cut her by nine inches. Done. So, but this is my thing. First of all, I need to be seeing what you're doing. I, 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 will, I will pull up my phone. If, if I'm not in the mirror, I'll pull up my damn phone to see what you're doing to my hair. He had her completely turned around. So, she was he was cutting her hair. Mistake number one. Mistake number two. She could look down and see... My hair is very raggedy. She could look down and see that some of her hair was starting to be un uneven. I would have gotten my toe right up off that chair once I saw that. So she, she's showing. <laughs> it's not funny. She did the video. I'm going to link the video below. I'm linking the video below if you want to see it. She, in the video, you can see her hair. It is clearly uneven. Child, it looked like Stevie Wonder. It, it, every blind person you could think of it looked like jb went in there and started cutting out little a's and shit her hair is horribly uneven like literally this part is choppy it's choppy here choppy there and this part is long of us our hair is a little uneven her hair is uneven and choppy so someone has to fix that what the hell girl i i would have i'm gonna put my hair up I would be so teed off. So the guy, the stylist, has blocked his Instagram. And apparently his girlfriend is another well-known YouTuber. I'm not going to drop her name. But she's another well-known YouTuber. And he colored and cut her hair. And her hair looks fine. I don't... Some people were saying that it was sabotage. I hope he's not that evil to do that. That's kind of wrong. Okay, y'all. We are at home. You know what? It's dark in here. Ch children are truly little individuals. I went to go pick up JB and I was kind of screaming at him to come on and like telling him no. And he just told me, y'all my glasses are dirty. Um, He just, he just said, I don't like when you say that at school. I'm like, what? He said, say no. I'm like, I'm looking at him like, you can't tell me what to do. But then he said, you can say that at school at home but don't sit it at school it makes me sad so I think he got embarrassed but you know I'm gonna I'm going to I'm gonna honor that I'm gonna respect him because he's a child I know if someone was yelling no at me in public I would be a little like who the hell are you but I'm your mama but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna take heed and be like okay I won't really go off you point taking JB poor baby so he doesn't know what embarrassment means now but he clearly he knows the feeling so he was embarrassed when i yelled at him to come on and, and tell him no so he's so sweet all right y'all um i guess i'll take y'all with me y'all want to come with me tomorrow here he comes Let's go pee. you gotta go pee
Bathroom. Why you wait? There's a bathroom up there. He come way back here. Go ahead and pee, child. I'm going. I went outside and I and I and I just cut. And Mama was here and enjoying. I I just didn't like the food and, and I just. Child, nobody asked you about the food at school. You know what read a book and then I want the chocolate money. So baby, I'm not packing your lunch tomorrow. You're gonna have to learn how to eat school food. Mm, no, I get I I like the pancakes. Yeah, you like the pancakes, so you may like some other food. Okay. I did. If you hear any screeching, it's my child. First rule advice, if you, you know, want to do videos, don't have your red child on your videos. So anyway, you guys, like I said, my hopes and intentions were to already have these videos done. And I had tons, I had, I have this great idea of, you know how I did the compare and comparison, compare and comparison, yeah, whatever. How I was comparing shampoos and conditioners what I want to do this summer is to do that for leave-ins and sprays. Because um, I think that tends to be... Shampoo is a shampoo. It's really hard to find a good leave-in conditioner. Can we just be honest? Yeah, it's really hard to find a good leave-in conditioner and leave-in spray. So I want to do a series of those in the summertime. I mean, that's a car. So real quick, let me show y'all some products I bought. Now, I did buy some more of that African Pride. Now, what I would like to do is revisit that. I've used it several times since that one video. I want to do another video. Um, and if you saw my one of my other vlogs, I used it with coconut oil. Baby, it is good. But for some reason, it's not. For some reason, it doesn't work for everyone. And you know, it could be a bad batch every now and then. I honestly do believe that because remember how yeah, I was telling y'all that, let me see if I can find it. I can't find it. That that Cantu leave-in was having, I was having some problems. It was um, beating up. I was getting residue. He's just crying. Um, anyway, I no longer have that. So I don't know if they had a bad batch. I don't know if someone prayed over that fast to get that batch out and it's good. <laughs> I laugh when I scream. Again, um, I tend to record multiple videos in one day um, and then I flip it up. So more than likely, just because I'm telling you this is what's coming up, you probably won't see all of these reviews. It will be scheduled out over a course of six weeks, if that makes sense. So I have this Coconut Cream Nourishing Conditioner by Renpour. This is a 32 ounce. I got this for like seven bucks. I was like, so... Especially since I gave that one woman, that homeless woman, my one conditioner. I need to stop talking about that. Leave it alone. So, yes, I will be reviewing this. Um, this was in their natural hair care owl. Sodium, no, um, sodium chloride, sulfates, dyes, horse salts, gluten. No gluten, okay. Safe for color treated hair, okay. Coconut cream. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, all right. Next up is the whole one of the holy grails of deep conditioners, Obias Naturals Babasu -su 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 Deep Conditioner, black owned. Yes, very excited to, start, to try this product, y'all. Smells okay, so yes, that's coming up. And last but not least, y'all, Echo Style Gel. It is. They have. They have another gel out. What is it called? Is it the castor oil? What is it called, girl? Do they have with us a cat? One of them, it is like back order. Like, it's like that t damn Teddy rub skin from the 80s that no one could buy. Like, literally. But what I could find is the Echo Style Coconut Oil Gel. And I'm okay about not finding that other um, styling gel because what I'm hearing is that this is actually better. So, ooh, that smells. <laughs> it's very fragrant. But it smells good. What I plan on doing is a braid out with this product and I will review that. So yes, you guys, that's what's coming up. Don't ask me when. 
Um, if anything, for sure, the conditioner and deep conditioner will be the first to come out and then whatever. As far as hair tutorials, I want to do... <laughs> I want to do a tutorial on how to achieve a twist out if you only have conditioner. Because let's just be honest, sometimes we don't have money to go buy a styling product. So can we use a conditioner as a twist out? I'm also going to go ahead and purchase a curling wand. I think I made a mistake in purchasing the um, bubble curling wand because you have to, it, for me to get the style that I want, you have to diligently put your hair in those in between the bubbles. I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to get a curling wand because I want to put my hair in curls, beautiful soft curls for the AZ Natural Hair Expo that is coming up here. See, I'm clapping again, sorry. The AZ Hair Natural Expo, I hope those of you who are in, here in Phoenix can show up. It's in May, I think it's like May 26th, May 24th. I'll be doing an official video on that later on next month. But yes, you guys, those are the hair videos and hair tutorials coming up, like I said. Taking my time. I know, this is so, I can really know. Whitney, I saw your comment, girl. She was like, don't be playing with my emotions. You coming back, you leave, you coming back. The only reason why I am coming back is why I decided to come back. I really didn't want to. It was recommended by my doctor. Like, honestly, you guys, she's like, you're going to go crazy because if you're not doing something else, because she's like, you're telling me you don't have any hobbies and you don't have time for hobbies. So if this is something you could do around your child, around your fiance, then you need to continue to do it until you find some other hobbies. And she was like, you need to find some more friends. I'm like, for what? <laughs> Meet up with people. She's like, your best friend is in Texas. I'm like, yeah, but I talked to her too. I guess she's saying I need to have physical interaction, meet up with girlfriends. I get where she's coming from. And I do have friends here in the Valley. Phoenix, this is not an excuse. I can't meet up with some friends, but I would say I have one good friend here. I have friends, but these are people I haven't seen in a year. I meet up with my coworker slash friend. I actually meet, with her, meet up with her every now and then, but apparently it's not enough for him. Hold on, let's go see. Control one on one. Look at this, look at this. What is the problem? Why is, why is everything on the floor? What is the problem? Hmm? Are you even crying? Pick this stuff up, child. Pick this pillow up. It's okay, baby. Oh, you are crying. It's okay. <laughs> Sweet baby. Hmm. We're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese's, you guys. He had a, he had like a 24 hour flu blood bug. And we got really up scared. This is like four or five days ago. We got really scared because then he started vomiting. His fever would not go down, even with fever medication. Turns out that he really needed Motrin. I was giving him Tylenol, but the Motrin was, was what really helped to bring that fever down. And he was okay. Within 48 hours, he was fine. So I think that, you know, it was like a little stomach bug. Um... Oh, poor thing. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye, you guys.